Hello everyone, we're here on Planetary Annihilation today. And we're right about to fuck shut up because we are over in the pussycraft. <laughs> we gotta get that downloaded off YouTube and get it converted to MP3 so I can put it. Every time I say that, oh, right there. Just, mm. <sighs> anyway, we're playing Planetary Annihilation and we're, uh, we're gonna try some new strategies here. Uh, we got someone who turtles and we're gonna, we're gonna teach him a few things about why you can't turtle in this game. Uh, let's see. Desert is. Uh, yes. uh, I don't want to start my water. Yes. Oh. Just, this looks like a much better place. Start right there. Right between some metal. There we go. What did you change? There's two plants. Okay. I might dip out of this planet. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna dip out of the planet this time. I kind of want to. To be honest. Start this over here. That way I can be as loud as I want. We can go bot factories first. I'm not a proponent of bot factors first, I am all for air. Air is highly mobile. Quickest way to expand. And the quickest way to scout. I might send some scouts out first, to be honest. It'd be nice to know where they are, so I know where to build my artillery on all three sides of them. That's the thing, they will turtle, they will not attack. The only person I have to worry about attacking is Death Rider, which is red. Or, no, yeah, red. For some reason I'm like... Not orange, which is not making me happy, whatever. It's okay. I'll survive. Alright, let's get this guy scouting. We're gonna go here. We're gonna use our patrol here and just select the whole map. Do that with the second one. On the other side of the map. Patrol, it's our thing. That should give us a, sort of a good idea, sort of a, a bit of an idea of what's going on. Probably the easiest way to find people is going to be to use a deep space radar. Uh, deep space radar, as soon as they get anything orbital, everything shows up. So, that is how that goes. I'll just keep this guy building energy plants for now. And in the background, you are listening to Streets of Rage 3. Uh, I really like Streets of Rage. I think the Sega Genesis songs are great because YouTube doesn't care. I don't care. It's awesome. It looks great. So we have a little bit of a metal shortage here. Can we take this guy off this? Don't feel anything extra here for a second. So I've, I've been told to skip, completely skip T1. Now, I've been on the forums, I've seen this again and again. T1 is useless. I just talked this one on a live stream. They said, yeah, they don't use T1, but in Supreme Commander, T1 was not useless. And I can agree with that. T1 was still perfectly fine. They're just making everything a little too junky in this game. I don't even know how many T1 builders I'm gonna get. Honestly. I haven't found them yet. They're patrolling, they are patrolling. Ah, well, it's, this game's got a long way to go. It's good to see that it's come so far, right? Actually. It's good to see. Any idle builders, not nice. Let's build like a lot of energy storage now. Let's build a lot of energy storage and a lot of metal storage right off the bat. So I don't need waste. 
Waste is the worst thing in this game because anything you waste doesn't go in your building if you use it. It just goes in the waste pile. I don't know how important anti is going to be in this game. No, 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 no. Shit. That's not good. We started right next to it. Why did I not see him on scanners, though? Oh, well, there he is. He's red. Who's idle right now? Insufficient metal. Uh, metal, metal energy storage should be built right after you get some stuff. Right after you get some income, metal energy storage. Energy is required. Very important. I thought the guy was going to build those defenses. I should just put some ships on this right here and just screw it in. This is gonna suck. Well, I'm not giving up that metal, I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much, I'm not giving up that metal. I cried out of my dead full hands. Is my builder done yet? Oh, they're just starting to build now. Why the energy storage here? Additional metal storage is required. I might consider next time. More energy. More energy. So you can build a radar. That's fine. That's card. It's card. Oh no. Where's he at? Have you found him yet? There's something here. Where's that? That's him right there. Okay. I'm anticipating some kind of large, extremely large air force to come at me fairly quickly. So the race is on to get some good into air here. Before it's too late. Maybe we can build this energy generator. He does not scan very quick. Probably the fastest. I stopped expanding because I just want to go for T2. Expansions. How much more profitable just to build T2 here? Fabricators. Insufficient metal. I'm wasting my time with it. T2 more garbage that can't even build T2 stuff. Anyone else I don't know. 
Tier 2 artillery instead of Tier 1. Dude, look at this stupid little wall he's built. Oh my god. Anyway, that's what happens when you start that close. Yeah, he always gets a lot of Tier 1 stuff, so... Next time I'll make sure that I get some good defenses so. up. It was kind of dope, but... Um, T2 artillery that fast, not a good idea, especially when someone's that close. Although, had I got it up, I could have ranged his buildings. So, you know, that probably would have been the next thing I would have gotten. That's uh, probably a little too... This, this expansion right here, as well as this expansion, totally inappropriate. That metal should have gone to defenses right about, right along right, right here. Bunch, a big line of anti-air and anti-ground would have helped a lot, it'd still be in the game, but that's how it goes. That's why we have this though, that's why you're analyzing, you're seeing what happened, what went wrong after action report, you're seeing what happened, what went wrong, what can we do better. That's how it works. Now does red know where dark green is? We will continue to cast this game, even though we have been defeated. Not over. Looks like he's gonna move all his stuff. He's got a bunch of uh, T1 Aventail tanks here. As well as some amount of anti air next to him. So we'll see where this goes. Moving across the way here. Yeah, it looks like. He's really gonna be screwed with no truce. He's getting his wall up. Granted, he's getting his wall up. But, uh, yeah, it's all, it's all T2 stuff. Uh, T1 is just so underutilized in this game. Seems like it's just not expensive enough. T2 is just not expensive enough. Advanced, T2, whatever. T2 was a lot more expensive or something. Red knows where he is though. Now, does Red know that he doesn't have, he only has half the wall? All Red needs to really do is get in the back here. Looks like he's already building a nuclear missile. That's ridiculous. He's gonna rush news. I just don't think that's gonna work because there's a big ball of units coming his way. No, T1, of course, you know, T1 is T1. It's the start. But I just talk to so many people and they say, you know what, just go T2, get some defenses or something, stave it off, go T2. There we go, we get some proxy bases going here, that's what I want to see. I want to see some proxy bases up. Okay, I can you out here. Oh, there we go. I do, of course. Oh, that's very good. Much better. Although, you know, you can see that. But Sandy has 661 metal, that better is 332. Now, why is that? Uh, I'm actually guess that that's because he has mostly T2 extractors. Metal extractors. But it's just not going to matter because it's a massive ball of units. It's about to hit him. Now, doesn't he have a radar? Does he 
see any radar anywhere. I don't see radar. What do they look like? I don't know. So, yeah, the radars. It only has one over here. He got some radar. That's a radar. I found this looks like a radar. So, does he have a radar? Will he see this coming? I have those missile turrets. Yeah, little missile turrets. I venture to say he doesn't have a radar, and he's not going to see any of this coming around his back wall. And it looks like Deathfire is doing a nice little scout here. A bunch of scout planes finding out exactly where the hole in his walls are. Just not moved by him. All he needs to discover is that there is a hole exactly where his forces need to go. See how the metal has changed? 781, 442. Looks like Dark's trying to expand a little bit. Let's see how he lasts. Really dark. If Death just pushes right now, it's over. We'll see. We've got a nice big air force here. He just likes to build a lot of team more green carriers. Just kind of pumps up his base and makes it look like he's here. Is it a Protoss Death Ball? I don't know. That'd be interesting. Protoss Death Ball was uh, Immortals? What else is he called? Stalkers? The big walk of this. I don't play Starker too very much. He shows the UI away. That's better. Now, is there. Ooh, look at that planet. It's right next to us. Is there anything going on in this planet? Uh, no, I can see everything, so no. Open a glow of a thousand suns. Man, I think he just got right around the back of that. example of how why scouting is so essential. Because he's missing this gap right here that he can totally utilize. Instead he's gonna send it right towards his main defensive line. There's gonna be an engagement here. Big ball of units coming in here. He's got artillery, he's got tons of T3 laser towers. Big engagement here. Laser towers don't seem to really be taking much damage. Since we've got Looks like T1, T1 artillery? It's gotta be T1 artillery. Looks like he does actually have a radar now. I did not see that before. Only a couple... Only a couple laser towers go down. I can easily repair in just a few minutes. Was that a T2? Was T2? I think I believe those are T2 artillery. Yes. 
Let's see if I can roll cancel. I believe that's a TT. See, what are we gonna see? I don't know. We're seeing this massive air push right here in the south. Is that the south? I don't know. Yeah, coming up from the south here, south edge. We're seeing this massive ball of units coming here. Massive death ball of air. Just kind of hanging out. Not really sure where they're going. Just gonna park themselves right, right here on that space. It's like his T2 air that can outrange the left cannon. It's getting busy here. Taking out the anti air. Very smart move. Good technical use of forces. Bombers that can outrange the air. Really? Just takes out all of his anti air. And his dark abyssal. Just dark sanity. Dark abyssal is the name. Dark sanity. Just dark sanity. Does Dark Sandy see this happening? You don't see any response from him now. He's just trying to stand build builders still. I don't even think he understands, he notices that he's under attack. It looks like there might be a little bit of a distraction on this side. There's a massive ball of anti air. Attacking on two sides at once, probably one of the most valuable strategies you can have. Really, more so than that. Attacking on three sides at once, impossible to defend against. Looks like he's totally just wrecking his defensive line here. His T2 air is rendering his defenses completely useless. His strategy is completely useless. His turtling is not going to work in this game, at least not at this level. Not without a bunch of air support, which he does not have. I think he might be trying to spam build some T1 air factories. That's what I would build. And we see it down. We're seeing the advanced air factory go down. I don't know how that's really going to help because that's going to produce air, but not effectively, not efficiently. Not a cost effective solution to producing interceptors at this point. Looks I think we're seeing 750 to 645 metal income. Deathfighter Death has been expanding slightly, not too much. Focusing on the military, which is a good way to go. Our sanity is definitely spending more. He's getting some air factories up. Deathfighter just slowly taking out all of, his, all of his defenses. And here we go, we've seen the massive push here. We're seeing tons of T1 air coming in the middle. Really sniped, trying to snipe the commander. See, let's the commander here. The commander goes down, and that's the GG. That is the end of this match. Hope you enjoyed. Where's the GG? Oh, I don't see the GG. I just see a slash P. Uh, semicolon, semicolon P. And I'm going to say it. There's the GG, and I hope to see you next time on Planetary Notion. Go.